employees and employees, parents, staff members. So today I'm going to show you how to get a daily pass once you have to get access on campus. All employees that are required to be on campus will need to get a daily pass on a daily basis. All parents, visitors, and students, once they are able to return on campus, will need to get a daily pass as well in order to ensure the safety of the students and the safety of all staff members on campus. With that said, you will have to go on your phone, smartphone, or on the computer and go to dailypass.lausd.net which is going to lead you to this location. If I'm a parent, we'll be on my left side. If I'm an employee or a student, I will be going to the right. In my particular case, I'm already signed in. Students will use their single sign-on. Employees use their single sign-on. Parents will use their credentials for their parent portal to be able to get in. As you could tell, I could book a COVID test. I could submit a external COVID test result. So in case I went to Kaiser, I went to a local clinic, I could submit my results, which is really important because if you do not have a test that is uh, negative within the last um, uh, few weeks within the system, you will not be able to get a pass the get daily pass option, which is what we're gonna to review today, a guest daily pass, which is another option, and last but not least, to book a COVID-19 vaccine. Right now, this is only open to employees, but will be open to uh, the community at large uh, in the near future. So let's go get our daily pass to be able to access the campus today. You should be able to see your name, you click on your name, here you're gonna select what school you are asking to get a pass to. So I'm gonna scroll down to John Adams. I'm gonna click on next. Here, you take a daily health check. It basically reminding you to wear your face coverings, avoid inviting people into your home, minimizing physical contact. Okay, if you commit to all that, then you're able to say accept. If not, then obviously you cannot get your daily check. It's gonna ask you to agree with the following statements, that you're feeling well, that you don't have a fever, shortness of breath, chills, fatigue, sore throats, nausea, loss of smell or taste, all that. Also it's asking you if you've been in contact with anybody that's been positive for the past 14 days or any, anybody with symptoms and that you've been as safe as possible. Please make sure that you read all this in detail. If you agree that you have not been exposed or you're not experiencing any of those symptoms, you click agree. And there you go. Now I could go ahead and print this, or I could go ahead and just have it on, um, on my phone now. So if I attend John Adams, I would show this uh, app in the beginning when I walk in on campus, it's gonna be verified by personnel and then you'll be getting access to campus. For all employees, we're gonna ask that you get this pass. You do not necessarily have to show it to us uh, just yet. Uh, we will be able to check in the back end to make sure that you have access to the campus in the event that we don't have the personnel to check this pass once you come in. However, uh, we do ask all employees to go ahead through the process and an administrator will be checking daily to make sure everybody on campus has reached and has accepted their daily pass. Thank you.